Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the new admin menu made by Project Sloth. I'll also do a brief overview of the features. I'll leave a link to the resource as well as to Discord in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource and we'll take a look at the README. So there are pictures and features listed. Oxlib is a dependency, so make sure you have that installed and correctly. You also need to set up your permissions in the server CFG, which I'll show you how to do later on in the video, as well as setting up logs. So we'll go back up and install the resource. Okay, once it's done downloading, open it up and open your server resources. Then we'll drag it in. And remove the extra stuff at the end. And while we're here, we're going to go into the QB folder and delete QB admin menu. Then we'll go back and open the server CFG and ensure the resource. At the bottom of the server CFG is where you set the permissions. If you go back to the readme, you'll see there's an example for each level, mod, admin, and god. You shouldn't have one person as uh, all levels. So I'll just copy one of these, go back to the server CFG. I already have myself here, but for example, just going to hit enter and paste. Now to get this, you can go to the TX admin dashboard, go to players. And if they're in the server, you can go to them, go to IDs, and it'll be this one here. Now, if you're in the server, you can type slash TX. Same thing, go to players, go to IDs, and then just copy this one here. And then you'll just paste it. Okay. And this is all coming out, so you can put whoever that would be. And then you'd hit file and save. Okay, and once you're done with that, we're going to go into the config. And change some things around in terms of the permissions. Okay, so once we're in here, the first thing is the fuel. I'm going to change this to legacy fuel, because I don't have PS fuel. Next thing is going to be the permissions to restart uh, resources. You can leave it at admin, set it to god, or change it to mod if you want. Mod being the lowest, admin is in between, and god being the highest. Same for all the other actions listed in here. Where it says perms, this is what level you can start doing this at. So if you want mods to be able to ban people, keep it as that. If not, you can change it to admin. And then just keep going through everything and changing the perms if you want. And then once you're done, you'll hit file and save. To set up blocks, we're going to go to QB Small Resources. We're going to go to Server, and we're going to open the Log section. We're going to go back to the README. We're going to copy this. And paste it. Don't forget the comma. Then we're going to go to Discord. We're going to create a channel. Text, and I'm going to name it admin log create channel we're going to go to the settings go to integrations and create webhook so we'll copy the url and paste it here then we'll hit file and save okay so i'm in the server and we'll type slash admin to open the menu so you can click here to make it bigger and make it smaller so i'll start at the top you have the staff chat so i'll do test And then players, it's just going to be me. Here you have the action, so you can kick, ban, teleport to the player, bring the player, revive them, and spectate them. Not sure if I can spectate myself, no. And then you have the licenses and all of that. You have the citizen ID, the name, the job, and all the vehicles that are owned. And you can also spawn them. So that did that. Okay, and I'll go back in. So then we can go to the server. You have all the resources and you can stop and restart them based on what you set the permissions as. And then you have the actions. So ban, bring, all of these, changing the time and weather. So we'll change it to, to sunrise. And then we'll make it Snow, now it's snowing. Uh, 
uh, the clothing menu. There's a bunch of stuff in here. You can go through it all, mess around with it. Hmm. And there are the names. So like I said, there's a lot you can go around and mess with, figure things out. That'll be it for this video. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. I also left a link to Project Lost Discord as well, and if you need more support. Thank you for watching.